Drop the Buddha on the side. Hey, I let it get so bronze. Get hurt, get hurt. A little bit of it. Yeah. About. Where Steph Curry, I yep. think on Gil, Gilbert Arenas, Agent Zero's yep. podcast, mm -hmm. said he's the greatest point guard. Yeah. You agreed or disagreed? I agreed, but I was mistaken. And the reason why I say I was mistaken is because what I wanted to elaborate on is when you're talking about a typical quintessential point guard, you're talking about a facilitator. Right. Magic Johnson's the greatest ever. Yeah. There's no question. Right. What I was talking about was impact from the position. Right. And to me, Steph Curry's marksmanship combined with his ability to move without the ball mm -hmm. puts a defense's head on a swivel. And as a result of that, because of the panic he creates, because of his extraordinary marksmanship, you have to pay rapt attention to him. You can't afford to barely pay attention to anybody else. Right. And that, to me, is a similar impact to Magic Johnson's ability to get to the basket, throw no-look passes, and especially Magic Johnson in the open court on a fast break. But if you put Magic Johnson in a half-court setting, he backs you down. Right. He throws the ball to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Right. Open court is worthy as Byron Scott, as Cooper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's stuff like that. Pick your poison. I was talking about impact. impact. I wasn't talking about a quintessential facilitator right. that's a point guard. Because Steph Curry is clearly not that. Because that's what I'm saying. I don't really look. I look at Steph as a two. Right. I understand that. Because all right. these got new age guys. Right. Dame Lillard, uh, Steph Curry, all these guys are two guards masquerading. Right. They just play, they're just not the point guard. I'm looking at the point guard like Magic, right. John Stockton, right. Jason Kidd, Mark right. Jackson. When I think point, point guard, right. that's what I think. But, but, but what, that's, what, I got you. Do, do we agree? We, we agree. We agree. We agree. I mean, listen. Magic Johnson is so phenomenal, and Michael Jordan's been arguing with me about this forever because Magic Johnson's the greatest in his eyes yeah. as well, so you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of those. And ain't no changing and that and dude's mind. Ain't, 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 no change, ain't no changing Michael Jordan's mind. Ain't, 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 you ain't got no snowball chance in hell of pulling that off. <laughs> but, 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 but he's right. And, and, and Eddie Johnson does NBA radio. He's absolutely right. He was talking about a Mad Dog Russo as a historian. He was talking about it. He was absolutely right. We know that as a pure passer, Magic Johnson is the greatest facilitator the game has ever seen. Right. But I'm saying... As an impact, you can talk about Steph Curry being a two guard, but I would tell you he has the ball in his hands enough, the offense runs through him, and the impact his marksmanship creates creates just as much havoc as Magic Johnson For created. Sure. Yes. And that's all I was trying yeah. to say, which right. is why, even though if you're talking about a prototypical point guard, you would pick others before him, if you're talking about impact, it's him and Magic Johnson. Yeah. Oh, there's no question. That's why there's there's, there's, there's no denying that. Exactly.